In this lesson, we're going to cover real-time and historical trending on a unified comfort panel. In preparation for this lesson, I did create a trends screen. And on the main screen, I did put a push button that will allow us to navigate to the trends screen. So I'm going to open up the trends screen. We're going to configure real-time trending first. So I'm going to put a trend control object on the screen. It's located in the toolbox underneath controls. I will change the width of the trend control to occupy the entire width of the screen. I'm going to go down to the appearance area and I'm going to locate window settings. And I'm going to choose none. When I select none, this will turn off this border area as well as like the close button. So then there's more room for trend data during runtime. I'm going to scroll up to the general area and I'm going to look for trend areas and expand out the first trend area. You can have multiple trend areas on a screen. This section here would be considered the trend area on the screen. So I'm going to go down to the trends area and expand this out. Here is the first trend pen. I can expand that out. If I wanted to add in additional trend pens, I can add those in here. I can just configure the existing trend pen. We're just going to do one trend value. Scroll the trend properties down. And I'm going to look at the data source Y first. And then look at the source configuration. This button here allows you to pick the type of trend that it's going to be. If I pick HMI tag, it will be real time. If I select logging tag, it will be historical. We are going to do real-time trending first, so I will select HMI tag. Then I will browse for the tag that I want to display. So I will select my HMI demo tags table, and I'm going to select the int tag one. The update rate is going to be based on the acquisition rate of the actual tag. The display name area here is optional. It just defaults to trend one, but if I want to change this display name to say trend value, I can enter that in here and then that will show up here for this trend pen. I'm going to select the line color and I'm going to pick the color red for this trend value. I'm going to scroll down in the trend control and I'm going to look at the value axis Y. You can have multiple value axes configured. This one it is set to the left value axis one. So if I scroll down a little bit further, I can expand out the left value axis. And here is where the configuration is for this axis. This is where I can set the minimum and maximum values. So I'll say zero to 100 is going to be my range. I'm going to uncheck automatically adapt the value range so it's going to be a fixed range and then scroll down. The scaling automatic, you see how not all the values are filled in here. So I am going to uncheck this and this will fill in those values. If I scroll up, I can look at the time axes. And here is the time axis bottom. If I expand that out, you can have multiple axes on the bottom. I will expand out this entry and scroll down a little bit. And I will be able to see that there's 120 measuring points that is configured right now. So if my sample rate was 60 seconds, it would be two minutes worth of data. I'm going to save my project, select my HMI, and start the simulation. I'm going to go down to runtime values, uncheck keep current user administration, and select load. I will open up my Chrome browser.
Log into the runtime system. Select my admin user. Enter in the password, HMI12345, and sign in. I will select the trends screen. And I will enter in a value up here for the integer tag. So you can see the real-time trend update on the screen. Now I will minimize the runtime system, and we will convert this to a historical trend. The first thing I will need to do is configure a data log, but I have to enable it. So I will go to the runtime settings, stored system, and the main database location for tag logging is currently set to off. I will select the USB stick X61, and I will enter in the U logs path. This is the main lo database location for the tag logging system. Next, I will go in the project tree, locate the logs area and open that up. Now the data logs tab is selected up top, so I will add in a new data log. And I will call this my data log. For the storage medium, I will have to select my USB x61. When I look at the properties for the data log, I can either configure in the table editor or I can come down in the properties area for the storage directory, I will paste in the slash u logs and add in an additional folder. It will be called tag log. This is where the segments for the tag logging will be stored. So you can set the overall you know, time period for the tag logging and also the actual maximum size for the log. You can also go into the individual segment area and set a time period for the individual segments as well as a size for the individual segments. Now I will go up to the HMI tags area, open up my HMI demo tags tag table, and I will select my integer tag one. And then in the middle window here, there is a tab for logging tags. So I will select add new. I'll just use the default name of logging tag one because of the integer tag that I picked up above, it already assigned the process tag value. So I can configure in this table editor. So the logging mode is set to on change. I'm going to change that to be cyclic. And then I will set the time interval of two seconds. I will go back to the trends screen. And I will go to the trends area and I will select the data source. And I'm going to change the type from an HMI tag to a logging tag. Then I will have to browse. I will select my data log and pick my logging tag. So now this trend control will be grabbing data from the tag log instead of the actual tag itself. I'm going to go to the miscellaneous area, and I'm going to go to the function bar area. The function bar area is the toolbar here, so you can pick and choose which elements would be visible. So I can select individual buttons. So I'm going to enable button 16, so I will go to its visibility property. And that adds in this button so that during runtime, I would be able to individually pick and choose which trend pens are visible during runtime. I will save my project, select my HMI, 
Start the simulation. I will load the changes in. Start my Chrome browser. Log in as the admin user, HMI, one, two, three, four, five, and sign in. Go to the trends screen. Now I would be looking at historical data. The update on the screen does lag behind just a little bit, but the data will come in from the historical log. Then I can use the toolbar buttons to pause the update. And then I could rewind, fast forward, can zoom in, you know, change the you know, axes values. In this lesson, we covered real time and historical trending on a WinCC Unified Comfort panel.